एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो इन आर सीरीज ऑन द जीको ड्राइव स्टॉक मोटर कंट्रोलर रेंज माय नेम इज संकेत गोरे एंड आई एम अ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजर हियर एट जीको ड्राइव इन दिस वीडियो आवर लीड डिजाइन इंजीनियर रैम फिक इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कांसेप्ट ऑफ क्लोज्ड लूप कंट्रोल ऑफ अ ब्रशलेस डीसी मोटर यूजिंग अ प्रोपोर्शनल इंटीग्रल डेरिवेटिव कंट्रोलर और अ पीआईडी इन शॉर्ट सो लेट्स टेक अ लुक Okay, so for closed loop, I'm going to briefly explain just the fundamental concepts of the PID system. So this is the a PID system, as which you can see, uh, it's standard, just very common, it's used in very many places. Um, so what you've got is you've got your, and um, here you've got your target speed coming in from the process, and here you've got your actual speed coming out. So now the idea behind the the, the PID system is that your actual speed and your target speed, when they are the same, um, the PID change will be zero. But when they are different, it means that the PID will then um, amend itself to ensure that the, 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 the two signals come back to match together again. So here we've got the, as the, uh, the, the target speed comes in, the error, which is me uh, measured, the errors over here. The error is measured by taking your target speed minus your actual speed. The error is then calculated as value, and then the error is then multiplied. It splits up um, the same same error in three different places. And then the for the proportional term. So now this is a simple term which is used within the tuning of the PID system. And essentially, your error is multiplied by the proportional term, is then multiplied by the error uh, by the the integral term as well as the derivative term, and then the sum of the error multiplied by these terms are then added all together to get another function, which again runs through the process. So this process, in our case, would be the the, the motor, and then once we've got the motor, we then measure the speed again. Uh, after after we got and we get the new um, the the new actual speed. Once you've got the new actual speed, that will run around again and after you, it'll it'll loop back. Um, now typically um, the, the the speed that the, the PID runs in can change depending on which motors what, what the application is, but it's typically for a um, for 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 a BLDC motor that run maybe about four hundred hertz at a time. Uh, and also for a PLDC motor, um, unless you're using actual PID for positioning control, uh, we don't actually use the derivative term either. Um, because the derivative term um, is essentially ensures that you do not overshoot the target, whereas with it, when you're doing speed control of a, a BLDC motor, it's just, it just doesn't matter, it doesn't get used. 